All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video comes from The Daily Caller, and it is a follow-up to the Dearborn, Michigan um, school board controversy where the Muslim parents were outraged about the books that, they, um, that the school was allowing their kids to read. Now, um, this guy, he was seen in the previous video, and he's up here giving a speech, so we're going to see what he's talking about. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. We as parents who are raising our children are responsible for our children. Our schools will not indoctrinate our children. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. My name is Hassan Shami. I'm nothing but a concerned parent in Dearborn, Michigan. Um, guys, we want to make something clear, okay? We want to leave the politics out of this. If you're on Facebook, all you see is fear-mongering political rhetoric that this is book banning, censorship, homophobic. All it is is protecting our children. We, we as concerned parents, we as now I'm not sure who's giving him, who's giving them a harder time, the left or the right. But I understand where he's coming from, and I like that he said it's not about politics because when I made the video, when I made the previous video concerning this topic. This very topic here, I said that it's, it shouldn't be about it shouldn't be about, you know, anything except the books. That's it. The books and the fact that that doesn't go against um, uh, the books and the fact that that goes against their religion. The, those are the two most important things. This doesn't need to be a uh, political. You know, it doesn't need to be political. Concerned parents in Dearborn are not tied to the left to the right when it comes to this issue. And we're not going to be used as pawns for any organization for their own agenda. We're here to protect our children. They're trying to smear us. They're trying to control the narrative. They're trying to say this is homophobic. Listen, there's a, there's a book. There's a book that was banned. It was called This Book is Gay. And I tell you, if the book was called This Book is Straight, we're still gonna go after it because it's teaching kids. Yep, I showed you guys that book in the last video. If if you don't, if you if you didn't see the video I made on this, just go um, just type in Jufi uh, Dearborn, Michigan. It should pop up. Teach kids how to go online and have sexual intercourse with others on the internet. This is wrong. You do not expose kids to sexually explicit material. Any semi decent human being, homosexual or heterosexual, knows when they look in the mirror that kids should not be exposed to this. Stop trying to control the rhetoric. Stop trying to make it as you guys are the victims because this has nothing to do with it. We as parents who are raising our children are responsible for our children. Our schools will not indoctrinate our children. The, prog the progressive dogma from the top down that has public schools in a chokehold will not indoctrinate our children. People tell me, people tell me, Huss, don't go up and speak. They're gonna ban your, they're gonna protest your businesses. You're gonna get fired from your job. I got three children. My purpose in this world is to protect my kids, and that's all I will do. And See, and this is, and this again, this is why Muslims, Muslims win when they come over here. And this is why a lot of immigrants win when they come over here because family is very important to them. They don't play about their family, they, they don't play about their religion. And like he's saying, it's just wrong. Left or right, gay, straight, it doesn't matter. It's just wrong. You know, I don't know if they have these kids reading these books for um, sex education. I'm not sure what it is, but I remember if that is the case back in back in my day when I when I had took that class, it was very basic stuff you learning. You didn't get books on it. You didn't go home and write reports on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I stop. expect to see you guys and five for every person. Bring five more with you on October 10th to the school board meeting. October 10th, we want the street filled. We want the park filled. We want the building. So this is before the school board meeting. But listen, we are not here to work against the school board. We're not here to antagonize the school board. We're here to work with the school board because the school board are trustees that asked us to trust them with our kids. So they will listen to us because we elected them into office. Until we mobilize and we get off our asses and we prioritize our kids, they will not be changed. So we need everyone here. You speak, you get into your group chats, you talk to your friends, your family members, your aunts, your uncles, and you say you have a responsibility 
Definitely a heavy Muslim um, uh, population in that town because even the police officers are Muslim. Members, your yeah. aunts, your uncles, and you say you have a responsibility as a human to stand up for the children in Dearborn. <laughs> See, and this is the type of mobilization and, and um, you know what I'm saying, and, and change you want to see for something for something that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could get behind this. I could get behind this. But, yeah, so I was wrong. This, the, the what we just watched, this here. Happened, took place before the school board meeting, which I did a video on not too long ago. So, yeah, go check that out. But this was the backstory. So he's the one that got everybody riled up and and mobilized them to go and do what they did. And, you know, shout out to them for doing it. You know, we need to we need to protect kids, man, protect their innocence, because if, if, if we won't, who will? You know, we're the only ones that can. So that's it for the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for your chance to win an Insider Plus or All Access membership to The Daily Wire. All you got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe on my videos. That's it. All right, guys. I'm out, though. Till next time. Peace.